was Riley. Um, can I read it to you? We're going to jump into a passage oh, now. Sure. And That'd I'll tell you more about Riley a little later on. Oh, yeah, after we get through the name is. What kind, what page are we going to start? This, uh, this, this is what we love there. to do. Hi, my name is... He was behind us. I got to the door first, pulled it open as Margo followed me inside. With her help, we slammed the door on big things, hand. She let go of her grip. Still holding hands, we were silent. Something happened. All of a sudden, I was no longer on the green floor in the corridor of the school by the door. I was in Margot's room, her house, looking down at Margot in bed. Guns, cannons, the walls lit up with flashes of light. More cannon flashes, explosions, lit the wall and filled to her room. I saw Margot sit up, get out of bed, and walk into her mother's and father's room. She touched her father as he struggled in a horrible nightmare. From her touch, she was able to see his dream. They appeared like movies on his bedroom ceiling. Men with helmets shooting men. Bombs fell. Body parts of women and children. Heads, arms, legs, smoke, blood running like sewer water in the street. Then everything dissolved away, except for Margot's father. He was crying, crying, holding a child in his arm, holding a little small child in his arms. She was hurt. Mama, Mama, she said. Then she was still. Her body went limp. Margot's father sat up screaming. He looked at Margot's face, grabbed and hugged her tightly, then pushed her back. What are you doing up here? What are you looking at? The little girl was crying, Mama. I heard Margot say in a soft voice, Get out of here! But now! Go back to bed. Get out! With that, he grabbed Margot's arm and then shook her. She fell backwards. Like a pop of electricity, our hand grip broke. I was hungry for air, barely able to catch my breath. Margot, too. The lunch bell rang. In the cafeteria, we sat across from each other, saying nothing, chewing on lunch, grilled bologna, cheese sandwiches. Took a few sips of chocolate milk until I found something lumpy in the carton. 